This video brought to you by the Bose Headset 10. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AOP Expo at San Jose, California. Uh, we're in the main exhibit hall here with David Newhill of Rolls-Royce Engines and we're looking at the RR500 which is a new lightweight turboprop for the general aviation mar uh, market for uh, like uh, singles and twins, tell us a little bit about this, David, some well, this, of the highlights. This is a, a new generation turboprop. It comes from the family of the famous RR Model 250s, B-17s. However, there's been a number of things we've done to update this engine, and we've done, designed it with a lot of input from the various OEMs so that it's going to do what they want. We listened to a lot of pilots, to a lot of aircraft designers, and made some fundamental changes for this engine. Let's talk about numbers here, uh, weight, power output, and fuel specific. Okay, we'll start with weight. The total engine, flange to flange, is going to be 225 pounds. That includes the starter generator and some of the accessories. All the accessories are gear driven accessories, and of course it depends on what you put on for final installed weight. That's about half of what a typical equivalent 500 series piston engine is today. So in terms of power, you're going to see this engine flat rated, and that means that you'll have that amount of power from the time you first do the takeoff all the way up to some level of altitude. Right now, we think that's going to be between 12 and 14,000 feet at 320, 325 shaft horsepower. So it's essentially a mid-300 horsepower's engine at the mid-tweens for most pilots. We're really kind of looking at this engine as one that's going to fly at 15,000 feet, plus or minus 1,000 for most operations, but we will certify it to flight level 250. Mm -hmm. And how about the fuel specifics? Fuel specifics on this, on a turbine, and all in the, we use an SFC term in the 0.6 something numbers. If you want to change that into gallons per hour for most people, they tend to think of it as a 21 to 24 gallons per hour at full power. And you fly turbines at full throttle. You want them all the way forward to get the maximum efficiency out of the turbine. And of course, that means that you're going to get from point A to point B very quickly. And so you're spending less time in the air, even though you're building, you may be burning more fuel per hour you spend less hours. Summation, we like to talk about nautical miles per gallon, and in that case, as compared to a twin turbocharged 500 series engine that comes out very, very close on a flight. Now, typically in the past, uh, larger turboshaft engines have run in the high sixes for SFCs, but this one is in the low sixes? This one's going to be right about in the middle of the sixes. It'll be in the point six something. And, and at the moment, because we're just now running this compressor, it's a new design compressor, as soon as we can get that coupled up with whatever it loads to the turbine, we'll have a much better feel for what that number is. Now, you've made an agreement with uh, Mooney to uh, do some sort of proof do, of concept. Do some proof of concept work. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see that occur over time as things are going on in the aviation business these days. Yes. Maybe a little slower than they once thought and we once thought, but people are working through the economics of the life today. What's the certification status of this engine? We're aimed in a certification in approximately 18 months. And as I understand it, this engine uh, benefited from the certification you did for the Robinson R66. That that's correct? correct. And that's the smaller engine that's behind us, which is the RR300 engine. Uh, and that went very well. It took us 24 months from the time we started until we had our certification on that engine. Okay, and so when will this be ready to ship, do you think? Uh, we would think in 18 to 20 months we would see people starting to see some of these engines actually in their hands with the airframes. And manufactured in? Indianapolis. All of our engines are, all of our 250 series right now are made in Indianapolis, uh, and that's what our plan will probably be. Okay, well, thanks very much for speaking with us, Dan. Great. Enjoyed it. Thank you. You've been watching AVWED's continuing coverage of AOP Expo 2008 in San Jose, California. We're speaking with David Newhill of Rolls-Royce Engine. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching.